Hello to everyone watching. My name is Alexis Vega. I'm Leah Gordillo. I'm Aaron Jones. And I'm Cody Hurt, and we're here to, to present the Sound King Kit Box Pop Patient Esmet on CHB. This is part of the SHARE program, and we're under Dr. Hall's Wildlife Ecology Lab. For our introduction at CSUB, we are researching more about the San Joaquin kit foxes, which are foxes that are currently an endangered species. They have been listed as endangered since 1967. The range extended from southern Kern County to eastern Contra Costa County on the valley's west side and to Stanislaus County on the east side. The average San Joaquin kit fox measured about 32 inches in length, 12 inches tall at the shoulder, and weighs about five pounds. For this research project, we are studying the recent sightings here at the CSUV campus. Loosened texture soils are preferable, but modifications of the burrows of other animals, faculties, denning, and other soil types. Our studies focus on the CSUV campus and their natural habitat is present, but also has access to modern urbanization areas. These Animals are able to adapt to completely different environments that are not their usual domain. Here at CSUB, they seem to adapt to this campus environment. The San Joaquin kit fox population estimate for 2015 was 381 kit foxes, but the carrying capacity for Bakersfield is believed to be 561 kit foxes. This estimate this number can help us compare the abundance of the San Joaquin kid fox population on campus to the general Bakersfield area. And Leah is gonna talk more about the methods. The procedures involved in our experiment were conducted beginning June 13th. And during the first week, our group assisted the Endangered Species Recovery Program with trapping, collaring, and marking the San Joaquin kit boxes on campus. Traps were set out and were maintenanced at 6 p.m. and traps were visited at 6 a.m. These time intervals were used to avoid heat exposure to the foxes. And when trapping foxes, we use cat food and hot dogs as bait. As you can see from the pictures on the slide, the foxes trapped were handled by ESRP while students assisted and data was collected. During this time, the yearling foxes were given collars and marked with a safe dye, and the younger foxes were not given collars. However, they were still tagged and marked. Then the foxes were released. Next slide, please. During the first week, our group also set up Reconyx cameras at nine different camera stations throughout the CSUB campus, as labeled in figure one. Camera data was collected from June 16th until July 7th. At each camera station, different flavored cat food baits were set out in order to attract the foxes and cameras were visited weekly so that SD cards and bait can be switched out. The data from the camera stations were then downloaded on a computer and was sorted through by mega detector and put into primary folders. The folders were, for, were then uploaded onto Vox and separated into individual folders such as distinct animals, humans, unmarked kit foxes, and marked kit fox folders. Our group then went through all the marked and unmarked kit fox photos and separated them based on their tag numbers and, and or distinct figures on the box. A few example, examples of these features and markings can be seen in figure two. Once we had all the foxes in, our own in their own folders, our group was then able to estimate the on-campus on kit box population at CSUB using the Lincoln-Peterson Index and the Schnabel Index. And Aaron will talk to you more, or Cody will talk to you more about the results. All right, so here we have the results. <clears throat> on left is the uh, box population results. In which case, the Schnaw Bell showed the lowest amount of kit fox population with on CSB campus. The Schnaw Bell index used a running uh, index of what we captured and recaptured throughout um, the first capture events week one camera samplings, week two camera samplings, and week three camera samplings. The Lincoln Pearson index only used uh, the information from the first capture and the Lincoln Pearson in, uh, and the camera samplings from week one. Lincoln Pearson index used the what was in the Lincoln Pearson week one, but additionally, the week two camera samplings and Lincoln Pearson week three used all three of the camera sampling weeks, so one, two, and three. In, and compare that to the uh, first initial capturing point. 
the Lincoln Pearson for week two showed the highest amount of captured kit foxes or uh, present or sorry, they showed the highest amount of kit fox population on campus and snow bell showed the lowest uh, predicted amount of fox population on campus. Figure four shows the Sour King Kit Fox density estimates of CHB as derived from both the Schnaub Bell method and the Lincoln Pearson indexes. And the red line indicates the 2.56 Fox per kilometer squared um, from the uh, Cypher 2015 pop, uh, Kit Fox density population estimate. From here, we can see that um, the Kit Fox population density on campus seems to be a lot higher than what was pred uh, predicted for the Bakes Road area in general. But uh, CHB campus seems to be known for having a higher Kit Fox population than the Bakes Road area in general. Our results were compiled from the ESP marked foxes. So the ESRP had a total of 18 marked foxes through their capturing events. Total foxes on campus that we saw, so the ESRP mark foxes plus the individual uh, foxes that we marked through the uh, camera traps were 33. Uh, a total of 440 marked fox pictures were captured with the unmarked uh, fox pictures being 1,175 1, pictures and a total of nine sites were used on the CHB campus. The figure five shows the spatial movement of uh, colored foxes on the CHB campus from the June 16th through July 7th. And now we have Aaron. We saw a low population estimate of 37 foxes using the Schnabel method and a high of 48 in the Lincoln Peterson index during week two. And um, those represent approximately 10 and 13% of the estimated 381 from the 2015 study. And they're approximately seven and 9% of the carrying capacity of 561 from that same study. And then in the density, the highest density of foxes in C at CSUB was 12.3 foxes per kilometer squared and the high being uh, nearly 16. Uh, while in 2015, the uh, estimate was about three kilometer, uh, three foxes per kilometer squared. Um, based on our estimates, we can uh, determine that the fox population is uh, improving and getting better, at least on the CSUB campus. Uh, based on our density estimates in comparison to those of the ones in 2015. And then that is it. All right, we, these are our references. And we would also like to give acknowledgement to those that helped us in Dangerous Species Recovery Program, especially Dr. Cypher, uh, Nicole, Erica, and Tori for coming out and helping us and allowing us to get uh, experience with helping them doing their um, Kit Fox uh, Mange program. And also to the Mega Detective crew for allowing us to sort through our pictures much more easily and allow us to be able to do our project uh, successfully. Thank you.